Welcome to the Brocade Campus Feature Explainer Series. I'm Terry Henry. This time we're going to talk about how to configure PIM Dense Mode. Um, so PIM, or Protocol Independent Multicast, is um, how you route multicast from subnet to subnet uh, on an IP network. And so PIM, as opposed to DVRMRP, PIM uh, does not build its own routing table. It looks in the IP routing table and makes routing decisions based on that. So um, you need to have some sort of underlying routing working before PIM is going to work correctly. So uh, you have to have OSPF or BGP or RIP or static routing or connected routing or something in the routing table uh, for PIM to work correctly. DVMRP on the other hand, which was um, a legacy protocol and, and is pretty much defunct, but it tried to build its own routing protocol or its own routing table, I should say, and was very inefficient in that process. So, um, so dense mode and sparse mode under PIM is kind of the newer generation. And so the difference, difference between PIM, dense, and sparse is that dense, as the name implies, is for densely populated routers, um, sparse is sparsely populated routers. So in dense mode, we push the multicast groups out to the edge routers and it's the edge routers responsibility to prune off the groups that it doesn't need. Um, and so it takes substantially more bandwidth than sparse mode because we're putting, we're pushing those, those groups out and putting the burden on the edge routers in sparse mode. We don't do that. We send those groups to the RP or the rendezvous point and then individual routers when they get a join from an edge port will send will look in their in their bootstrap router and a bootstrap router really is nothing more than a list of here's all the multicast groups i know about and here's the rendezvous point that belongs to that multicast group so um that edge router looks in their bootstrap router the bootstrap router says here's the rp address for the group you're looking for then the edge router goes to that RP and says, I need this group, please send it to me. Then it graphs that multicast group down to the edge router. But until that happens, the edge routers don't see any of those flows. So sparse mode requires more configuration, but it's more efficient uh, and less bandwidth intensive than dense mode. However, dense mode is really, really easy to set up. Uh, and if you've got lots of bandwidth, then sure, by all means. So. We're going to do this on a 7250 on layer, layer three code. Uh, so we'll go into config T. So what I have already um, is if we look at my configuration. I have a VLAN 10 here. I have my uplinks tagged. I have my PC on port 111. So I'm going to send a multicast group on there so you can see it. Uh, and then I've assigned a, a, a router interface called VE10. So VE10 here has an address of 10.0.0.1. Um, and I have OSPF running. So on the other side of that link, uh, on the other side of two slash, uh, one slash two slash one is another uh, router that is uh, 10.0.0.2. So if I do a show, um, show IP OSPF neighbor, I see that I have a neighbor of 10.0.0.2 uh, and he's full and he's BDR, which makes me the DR most likely uh, with a 10.0.0.1 out VE10. And then in my routing table, I have a route to uh, well, a directly connected route 10 0 0 0 on VE 10. So I have routing. So um, as I said before, PIM doesn't build its own routing table. It relies on whatever routing protocol you're choosing to run. And so I need that routing done first. So then once that's done, enabling um, uh, PIM dense mode is really, really simple. So I just do a router PIM. And under router PIM, I have many, many possibilities. So most of these, the vast majority of these actually relate only to sparse mode. Um, but as, as far as dense mode goes, there's nothing you have to do in here. There's optional things you could do, but all we need to do really is turn on router PIM, then go to the interface. So we're gonna go to interface VE10. I'm gonna do an IP PIM. And again, I have options under here but the only thing I need to do is turn on IP PIM. Um, so I could have turned on sparse mode. I could have set a border. I could have set a DR priority, things like that. But um, that's all I need to do. So now PIM dense mode is running. So uh, show IP PIM. Um, 
under here I have multiple options, but we can look at dense. So these are the these are the parameters on dense mode that I'm running, right? So the so all the uh, intervals, join prune intervals, hello intervals, maximum M cache, etc. Um, I could do a show IP PIM uh, neighbor. So there's my neighbor. So my neighbor I've already pre-configured, obviously. So there's 10.0.0.2 is my neighbor out my port 1 slash 2 slash 1, which is VE10. Uh, we can also see that that has been up for 36 seconds. And so I typed that command 36 seconds ago. Now 52 seconds. Uh, show IP PIM uh, MCache. It's going to show me, oops, if I could spell it right. Here's my mcache, so I have a client machine, which is my laptop streaming a video uh, on 10.0.0.101, and the multicast group it's sending in is 239.255.255.250 uh, in VE10, and it's coming in E111, and the uptime is 59 seconds. And we can see here the DM means that it's dense mode. Um, the source is directly connected as opposed to it's not coming through another multicast router. Um, and um, it's layer two at this point. Oh yeah, so this is this is we're sending it to the other router, right? So we're we're basically through dense mode, we're flooding it out to that other router, and it's the other router's responsibility to prune that off. And we can see the source VLAN is 10. Um, what else do we want to see? Uh, show IP PIM. Um, actually, there's there's not a lot you you need to see here. Uh, traffic maybe so we can see our uh, receive traffic right so we've received five hellos we've transmitted seven hellos um, you can see that that this part here all belongs to sparse mode so there's no parameters in there um, there's no errors uh, show IP PIM interface we can look at what interfaces uh, we're, we have, right? So here's my local address. Here's the designated router address of that interface. Here's the port it's going out of to get to the designated router. So, so the designated router is an election process. So you can change the priority per interface and become the designated router if you wish to do so. Uh, but again, that's an optional parameter. But the basics of it is you turn on PIM den router, router PIM right then you go to the interface and you do an IP PIM and that's really all there is to the basics of PIM so you don't need to set up an RP you don't need to set up a BSR you know those are all within sparse mode so you know dense mode is as simple as it gets a couple of commands and you're up and running all right so that's it for this time around and uh, we'll see you again thanks for joining